Cyclists put their kickstands down on the steps of the state capitol today. The 2012 Georgia Rides to the Capitol demonstrated statewide support for safer biking conditions. Reporter Leah Braveboard is live on the UGA campus to tell us why it matters. Well, Anna, Athens is a bike-friendly community, but with so many students riding to and from school, it can still be a hazard. If cyclists in Atlanta get their way, state roads here in Athens could be seeing some changes. Cyclists from all over pedaled into the state capitol with a purpose. We need to let, remind the legislature that bicyclists know where the capitol is and we're organized and we, they need to pay attention to us. Georgia Bikes, who helps sponsor the event, wants to make sure future road projects meet the needs of cyclists and protects their legal rights. They also want to secure a fair share of dedicated funding for bicycle facilities and infrastructure. The Alliance of Biking and Walking released their 2012 benchmark report, rating Georgia the 41st worst among bike safety. Now, Athens is making improvements. They received the Bike Friendly Community Award last year. But the high volume of cyclists means there's still a long way to go. If the complete streets policy passes, state roads like Millage, Prince, Broad, and Atlanta Highway would have to include improvements fit for walkers and cyclists anytime they are repaired. We want them to recognize that when they're building and designing roads and highways and streets, that uh, streets are not just for cars, they're for people. An estimated 1,500 people turned out on the steps of the Capitol for the rally today, including 35 mayors from Metro Atlanta. I spoke to Brent Bice, the executive director of Georgia Bikes, and he told me the most successful moment of the day was getting Gainesville State Senator Butch Miller to change his mind about legislation that calls for riders to cycle single file on roads. Live on the Roof, I'm Leah Bravort with Grady News Source. Thank you, Leah.